help because of the high cost. The COVID pandemic made a lot of people put off regular doctor visits and screenings. Combine that with underserved communities not able to get the services they need. And you have the reason a special program was started one year ago. News 8's Lisa Carberg has that and more. Lisa. And Hartford Healthcare Neighborhood Health has been successful beyond expectations. It brings a team of healthcare professionals with people who have the needs. And to mark today's milestone, the CEO of Hartford Healthcare not only thanked them, but he also made lunch. A first anniversary barbecue at the Open Hearth in Hartford, with Hartford Healthcare CEO Jeff Flax giving personal thanks to his team members. And this was a very small token because we can't say thank you enough and loud enough. But when I see the impact you have on people, it's unbelievable. When the Hartford Healthcare Neighborhood Health Team started one year ago, the goal was to provide medical help. After seeing and listening to the community's desires, they then tailored their outreach services. We need to treat the whole person. The, they need basic needs, food, housing security, energy, anything that we can help with. The program was rolled out in a few areas of the state and will soon expand into central Connecticut and Fairfield County. Don Philippa shares some of the feedback from the many people they have served. They feel listened to, they feel heard, and uh, they said that they couldn't make it without us. It's such a rewarding feeling. And there's no end in sight. As the mobile health team expands its physical footprint, it will also broaden its already wide range of services. More immunizations that we can offer more point of care testing, just broadening um, our relationships with community members and those that can help everybody. And some of the services are health prevention services, helping to educate their patrons. It's all part of Hartford HealthCare's goal of providing world-class care to everyone. Lisa Carberg, News 8.